Hey kids, welcome to another edition of Science in the News. I'm your host, Molecular Matt, and today we're going to be talking about robots. This week, the internet reacted to a video released by Boston Dynamics, a robotics company that is building the state of the art in, wait for it, Robodogs. <laughs> well, not quite. Meet Spot. Spot can walk over 20 miles without stopping, balance itself on rugged terrain, and do not fall after being kicked incredibly hard. I don't know about you, but when I first saw that video, I felt something. I felt bad for the robot. Maybe I'm being a bit overly sensitive here, but I'm not the only one to have this reaction. The kick seen round the world has initiated arguably the first legitimate debate over robot rights and ethics. Many people found the idea of feeling bad for a machine ridiculous. But you don't really feel bad for the phone when someone drops it and cracks the screen. You feel bad for the owner because they won't be able to check Facebook until they get the screen fixed. It seems the fundamental difference here is that Spot is physically behaving in a way that's very lifelike, almost instinctually. When our brains see a four-legged creature prancing across the field, we assume that object is a living thing. Of course, once you learn that the object is made of metal, it runs on an engine, uses electricity, and is controlled by a computer, that higher level of understanding might make you feel less bad when you see it getting kicked. But then again, who didn't tear up at least a little bit? At the end of Terminator 2, when the machine was slowly destroyed by the molten metal. No matter your feelings on the subject, it's clear we are just at the beginning of this debate. It's only going to get more complex as machines develop more and more human-like qualities. Artificial intelligence is quickly becoming a reality, and many computer scientists predict that within a few decades, we will have computers that are smarter than any human being on Earth. What happens when a computer has the ability to learn new things, to feel physical and even emotional pain, or actually has the ability to sense its surroundings and truly understand the environment that it's in and what is happening to it? If Spot knew that you were picking on him, would you feel bad for him then? If so, why? And that does it for this episode of Science in the News. Post your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and like us on Facebook. I'm your host, Molecular Matt, forever asking that important question, 